Okay, let's step through the computation that happens in value iteration. So what we have here is a MDP with two states, A and B. Um, in each state there are two actions, action 0 and 1. Um, we see here at the bottom is the final states, um, A and B, when there are zero time steps left. And then this layer here, we see the Q states when there is one time steps left. This is the regular states with one time step left. Q states with two time steps left. And the regular states with two time steps left. So let's start filling this in. So with zero time steps left being in state A, we get a value of zero. With zero time steps left, state B, time, we get a value of zero. And to compute the value over here, this is being in state A, having uh, taken action zero, and there being one time step left. So in state A, taking action zero, we get a with 50% chance a transition to state A and a reward of 2.0. So we have 0.5 times 2.0 and there's no discounting here so plus gamma which is 1 times the value at the next state which is a and the value of that state is 0 and then we have a 0 0.5 probability of going to state B for this transition the reward is minus 1 so we have plus 0 0.5 times minus 1 plus the value at the next time, uh, discounted by our discount factor is 1, so no discounting. The value at the next state is 0. So here we go. This is our value for this node. Now here, we're in state A. Just took action 1. Um, so we're working with this part of the table here. There's a 50% chance that we go to A, and 50% chance that we go to B. So 0 0.5 times the reward for A plus the value we get at A plus 0 0.5 times the reward we get for B plus the value we get at B. So what are the rewards in the value here? So to go from A with action 1 into A, that's this row over here, we get a reward of 1. Then if we were to go to B, we get um, a reward of 2.0 and the value at the next state is 0. Here's our value. Then here we have um, we're in state B we just took action 0 so we are in this section of the table here. There is 0 probability that we transition to state A and probability 1 we transition to state B with a reward of minus 1. So we have 0 times minus 2.0 plus the value at the next time is 0 plus 1.0 times the reward of minus 1 plus 0 at the next time. So our value here. Here we're in this part of the table we're in state B took action 1 we have a 10% chance of going to A, 90% chance of going to B. So we have 0 0.1 times, and then when we go to A, we get minus 3.0 instantaneous award, 0 at the next time. When we go to B, which is probability 0 0.9, we get a reward of minus, instantaneous reward of minus 1.0 plus 0 value at B, and this is our value here. All right. Now I'll take it one level up. Here we're in state A, there's one time step left. We have two actions to choose from, 0 and 1. And since we maximize the expected sum of rewards, we'll take the action that leads to the highest expected sum of rewards. So that's action 1 in this case, which leads us to expected reward of 1.5. Here we're in state B, we get to choose from two actions. We pick one with the highest expected sum of rewards, which is action 0, which gives us a value of minus 1.0. Here we go. Okay, now we're again one level up in the value iteration process here. Here we are in state A. We took action 0 
and we are now um, in this part of the table. So there's a 50% chance of going to A, 50% chance of going to B. So we have 0, 0 0.5 times the reward for going to A is 2.0. Plus, if we go to A, we will get future rewards on expectation of 1.5, so plus 1.5. And then there's a 50% chance of going to B, in which case we get an instantaneous reward of minus 1.0 and a future expected reward of also minus 1.0. That's our value here. Here we're in the Q state where we are in state A and have taken action 1. So we are in this part of the table. 50% um, chance we go to A, for which we get an instantaneous reward of 1.0 and a future expected sum of rewards of 1.5 and a 50% chance we go to B, for which we get an instantaneous reward of 2.0 and a future expected sum of rewards of minus 1.0. So that's our value here. Here we're in the Q state where we are in state B and have taken action 0. So we have to look at this part of the table here. There is a 0% chance we transition to state A. Um, so let's just leave that part out. Then there's a 100% one, chance to go to state B, in which case we get a minus 1.0 instantaneous reward plus a minus 1.0 expected future sum of rewards. That's this value, and then here's the last one in this level. We're in state B and took action 1. So it's this part of the table. There's a 10% chance that we transition to state A. For that transition, we get an instantaneous reward of minus 3.0. Expected future sum of rewards of 1.5, which we read off over here. And then we get with 90% chance of transition to state B, for which we get an instantaneous reward of minus 1.0 and a future um, sum of rewards of also minus 1.0. So plus minus 1.0. All right. Now, here at the top layer, um, we're in state A. We're going to choose between two actions, 0 and 1. Action 1 is the highest expected sum of rewards, so that's the value we're going to take for this day, 1.75. And then here at the top, we have, again, the choice between two actions. We're in state B. The one with the highest expected sum of rewards is action 1, which leads us to an expected sum of rewards of minus 1.95. All right, so this is it. Um, Let's now submit and see if we got it right. There we go. And indeed, we got this completely correct.